Got a bit of space there, lays it off to Port. He was looking for Nicinovic and he finds a break pass inside. Beautiful play by Valentin Port into Braun on Nicinovic. And a Nicinovic and a counter from Kiel. Spot on as Hendrik Pekeler fires that one in despite the touch. 11 goals in just under 11 minutes. Uh, make that 12 and another one from a tight angle for Yanis Len. Montpellier with their first two-goal lead, which lasts not very long as Eric Jonsson comes bouncing through down the left. Simone, and here is Panic, lays it off to Scuba. Tight angle here as they keep it moving, nicely done into the line. That's going to be a penalty. They're really dragging this Kiel defence from side to side, toying with them and then deciding to make Hopefully he's, uh, he's well. Pelas from the penalty line, bangs that one in. That's a great finish. Pelas with his second of the day, first from the penalty line. Who opened up a two-goal lead, but Montpellier at the moment in front. Uh, Bilic responding well. And the attack very much on top for both sides at the moment. Conan, Conan, will he go himself? No, lays it off. That was the right decision. And <laughs> the finish as well. It's the Yanis Len show so far. Four from four so far. Fantastic start for him. And a save by Debonet, looking for a full court goal! He gets it! Remy Debonet with a scorcher. As well, and saying how much he loves the shootout. As we see, two more goals in the space of just five seconds. Billick down one end and an immediate response from Montpellier could get the better of this Kiel side. Ball out to the left wing, Damka in acres of space, but he's denied at the near post. Remy Debore with another save. And a player down in the mean. It could be a red card. Yeah, referees reaching for the card there. Uh, Marko Panic, I think, knows what's coming. It left elbow. See the uh, forward progression there is probably what condemned him to this red card for the next minute and a bit. Scuba 
Looks to go alone, and the long way, tight angle again for Len, but I tell you what, it doesn't matter what angle you give him, Yanis Len is having an absolute stormer so far. So for them, four goal lead for now. Keel need goals. Ball out to Johansson, oh, he hesitates, and he's denied, that was the wrong decision. Remy Debonet makes him pay. Strength in five seconds. There were two men down. They didn't concede, and they could score two from it. Beautiful little one-two between Stash Scuba and Valentin Pornaus. Billick cross pass out to Ekberg in the wing. Johansson with a shot down low. Desperately needed goal. Nine goals. He's playing well, but not without errors, as we saw. Ports. Uh, to Monte. He. Billick. Looking for a bit of space. And Harold Rankin, who comes in, does well to lay off that pass. And they earn the two a man. Having a storming start to this game. Nicholas Ekberg from the penalty line. Denied. Demene with his second penalty save. He's having an inspired contest so far. Penalty saves. Ball into the line. Vincek, tight angle for him. Tries to beat the keeper at the near post, but no dice. He down the right-hand side. Port lays it out to the left. Bellas does all. Jackson Richardson watching on. His son. What approach will he take? Debonet comes out of his line. And he can't save his third penalty in a row. Eric Johansson. Arthur Lane. And at the moment, now oh, he sneaks his way through. He can't find a way past the keeper. Johansson, skip pass out to the left wing. Damka into the top right hand corner. That's a very, very tidy finish. Pace this game is going. It can turn quickly, particularly with attacker for three more Champions League games to come after this one. Ball out to the right. And a nice finish there by Harold Reinkind. And Montpellier looking at him. Now he goes in as a second line. Oh, nicely done. Ball into the line and just spills free. And a two minute suspension here for Rune Damka for holding on from behind. One as well as a penalty comes with it. Lucas Pelas from the penalty line. Pops it into the top right hand corner. Let's see if he gets a chance to shine. Long range shot, not a great for the halfway line. Surveys his options out to Simone. Simple stuff from Montpellier and they get a four goal lead again. Empty switch, we'll bring Billick into the middle. Conan on top of him. Looking for space in the center here, there is an overlap down the right-hand side. And a good finish by Sven Erik. Simone, oh, looking to lay it off just a little bit late. Yes. Congratulations to him. And the referees say play on. Simone, will he make the right decision now? It's five against three. Monte cuts inside. How he gets away through. Maybe not the right decision. Oh, Billick, Johansson shoots that one wide to the right. And a counter-attack opportunity. Ball out to the left wing, beautifully done! Ah, oh, the saves, fantastic. Jamie Fernandez with his first. Billick cuts out to the right. Rankin, Billick, standing shot down low. Saw his gap and took full advantage of it. Simone, and that's much better from Kiel getting back. And they could be punished here. Simone breaks through. Excellent work from the South American duo. Movement on the line. And it's Petter Overby in there at the moment. Eric didn't look confident there at all. Got a stop. Carlson. Hand up for passive play. Scuba into the line. And referees say no foul. Fernandez was under a little bit of jury situations, though. They haven't been able to take full advantage of them so far. Ball into the line, that's much better. And the finish, no messing around there. From Petter Overby. Final minute of the first half. They have been entertained, I hope you have as well. A oh, beautiful play again. Ah, oh, and Scuba sneaks it in at the near post. 15 seconds left in the half. All out to the left wing, Damko. With a tidy finish, it gives enough time for Montpellier to push back for one last attack. Scuba, and a timeout taken by see if they can finish this half off with a goal. Monte, the Scuba, standing shot, and he gets it in before the buzzer, Stash Scuba. Christmas in Cologne in December when they won the title.
That feels a long way away at the moment. Is Nikola Bilic. And there is the first strike of the second half from the man who drove them in the first, Eric Johansson, to their seats here after enjoying that halftime break. Enjoying a four goal lead to go with it. And Diego Simone trying to get that back. He can't do it, but the rebound falls into the grateful hands of Rera Nacinovic, who ends up just placing it into an empty net because of the collision between Scuba. In flight pass, and it's saved. Well stopped by Merkva. Shut that down. We feel they have a real chance. Ball out to the right hand side, spills. Good movement off the ball once more. Simone oh, took a deflection on the way through, but Diego Simone won't mind. One and a save by Debene gets hit in the face. I think he might have parried that onto his own head there. And the referee is going to check that one. At a two minute, they're not going to check it. A two minute suspension direct down to two goals. And no luck for them. And now. Montpellier, not going to make it five. Port, he's through, oh, and he hits, hits the defender, rides the challenge so, so well. It's in a goal, but Port rides it well. Dovniak with a rush shot, and it could be, I was going to say, there could be trouble there for him. Oh, great ball. Nacinovic has to put it away, and he does. Stash Scuba playing games once. And Overby puts it away and quiets the crowd momentarily. And for Scuba. Chinovich moving in the line. Scuba's through. And he sends the keeper the wrong way. Ending of the pass. Oh, so important. And the rush shot over the top by Eric Johansson. There's going to be a counter attack here. Goalkeeper gets back, but a little bit too late. And you can count that one as another for Yanis Len. And Debonet. Come up. Billick. He's through. Oh, that's a good finish, but he slips there. Oh, nice ball into the line, but it spills free. Nice. Yeah, takes it over the halfway line. Johansson into Overby. And Petr Overby gives Kiel their second goal in quick succession. Right. Nicely done. Good defending, though, from Damke. Into the line. Rude one stuff in the end. Oh, Chinovic delivers the goal. Stefan Vinehold, saved by Debonet, out over the sidelines. So Kiel will hold on to possession, but it's another stop for the French international. Joined them from Nîmes two seasons ago, and now starring for them. Historic, famous victory over Kiel, and the way things are going now, you won't back against them. Valentin Port sees two defenders come up against them. Season here. Two years ago, a very successful season. Ball stolen by Carl Conan. Chance on the counter. It's four against three. They just need to make the right decision. Uh, Valentin Port takes it upon himself. Well say. Well, Thomas Schmerkva was equal to it on this occasion. And that opens the door down the left-hand side for Kiel and Carvelinius to score with his first attempt. To give Simone a rest. Monte <laughs> doesn't need a second invite. As soon as Carvelinius. Into the line, a little too much juice on it. And there's an empty net to shoot into. Oh, and fired it. Doesn't really matter. Montpellier don't care who's scoring at the moment. As long as they're scoring, and as long as Scuba. Off to Monte again, picks it up down low. A high challenge on him, there's meanwhile. A different type of challenge. And I'm and not sure. Uh, the Kiel defender, I think it was Valenius who caught the pain for him, keeping him out of the contest. All out to the wing. Crossed on, ah, tipped in. That's unfortunate for Tomasz Merkva. Maybe running out of ideas inside. Deep, deep trouble. Johansson, ball into the line, nicely done. And well put away by Paddy Vinsek. Skuba says no such thing. We ain't taking our time today, boys. They see a glimpse of an opportunity. His only miss, a penalty, early doors. And that one tipped onto the post. Debonet over the top, but it's wide. Thinks twice about playing it out. 
Stefan Meinhold into the line, Patrick Wienzek as well, placed in off the far post. And that's one avenue in the end, they just go for the free throw and we start again. Scuba, now to Monte. He goes for it. Brian Monte being given way too much space in nine meters, and he's making level of competition for the first time. They're all thriving at the moment. Around now. Hand up for passive play. Ball into the line again, and a penalty. He's been perfect from the penalty line so far since he took over from Stash Scuba. Takes it once. And oh, just about sneaks that one in past Merkva. As we see the Montpellier president having the time of his life. But a complete collapse from this. Gets some medical attention and a two-minute suspension. That was a high and heavy challenge. Simone waiting for it in the center again, but he's not needed because once again, Stas Scuba wriggles his way through. I've gone to Carl Conan. Very clean defensive performance. Rebound picked up, the standing shot. Let's see what they come up with. Lays it off to Monte, and it's wide to the left. Keeping partnership together with Remy Debonet, who's been the hero today from Montpellier, and he proves it once again. Then a second line player, Monte into port, but a little keel side. Can they peg back a few goals, give themselves some chance in this second leg, and that's a start. Stefan Weinhold. They're in full control at the moment, but they know how to turn it on at a moment's notice. And here they go again. Scuba into the line, that'll be another penalty if it's not a goal. The pair of Montpellier line players, they haven't been able to do anything today. And that penalty converted by Lutitian. He always had the feeling with Kiel's form this season that anything was possible, both good and bad. And today from their side, every second counts now for both sides. Monte, and he gives away Dovniak. Ball out to Johansson, into the line, no angle there. Johansson, again, from the penalty line. Puts it away with a plomb and cuts holes. They'll believe something is possible. Montpellier need to keep going, need to keep scoring, and that'll help. And who it is? He earns the penalty for his fellow wing, Lucas Pelas, to in this match, as well as the wise old heads of the likes of Port, Simone, and Scoots. A little bit agitated on the left wing. He was expecting to pass it, but it doesn't matter. Because Diego Simone comes up with an absolute scorcher. But he has to hobble off. He'll get something here to take home with them. No, they can't. And there's still time, in fact, for Montpellier. And Remy Debonet. How fitting it is that he gets the final goal. Jeff, final four. 